Hi guys, this is JNM with a video about the Blender Boolean modifier. You asked me to create a tutorial on how to Boolean without add-ons. So here we go. We start with a simple cube, duplicate it, and then I add some bevels to the edges of the second one. And this will be the object that we use to cut into the cube. So I switch to object mode and position the object like that. Then I select the first cube, open the modifiers tab, and select the boolean modifier. The operation is set to difference and for the object I select the second cube with the bevels. Ok, now there is actually a boolean operation going on there but we can't see it because the draw type of the second object is set to textured, it is opaque. But we can change the so called maximum draw type and set it to wire. And now you can see the result of the operation in a kind of live boolean preview. You can move around the object like this, with the boolean modifier still pending. Ok, now you could go ahead, open the modifier tab and apply the boolean modifier and then the operation can't be changed anymore. But before we do this, let me show you how to copy the existing modifier, then for example duplicate the object that we use for the difference operation and move it to the other side of the cube. Then I rotate it 180 degrees around the set axis, move it like here, and then I use this object for my second boolean modifier. Now we have two pending boolean modifiers for the cube that I apply now by pressing the apply buttons. The two cutter objects remain in the scene, but we can delete them now by pressing the X key. So guys, this is a boolean difference operation without shortcuts by using add-ons. And like I already demonstrated in a previous tutorial, to make this object look really great, you can now go ahead and enable auto smoothing, add a bevel weight of 1. For the sharp edges, mark the edges as sharp and finally add a bevel modifier. Again we did this without using add-ons like hardops that you can use to execute exactly these steps by using the C-Sharpen feature. Alternatively you can use a free add-on that I'm currently developing, it's called FastCarve and can be downloaded from my GitHub, the link is added to the description below. Guys, I hope you liked this video, please let me know if you want to see more tutorials about other Blender modifiers. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, thanks a lot for watching, thanks for your support and I hope you come back soon to JNM.